Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is decision control structures if and else statements. Okay, so friends, the if statement by itself will execute a single statement or a group of statements when the expression following if evaluates to true if it doesn't does nothing even the expression following if evaluates to true it does nothing when expression evaluates to false can we execute one group of statements if the expression evaluates to true another group of statements if the expression evaluates to false of course this is what is the purpose of else statement that is demonstrated in the following example which i have written in here so friends now you can understand what is if if is if i repeat again the if statement by itself will execute a single statement okay so this is the if if statements okay so friends i have already told that decisions what is decisions okay that we have have used sequence control structures in which the various steps are executed sequence sequentially okay If an uh, C has three major decisions making instructions, the if statements, the, uh, the if else statements, and the switch statements. A fourth, somewhat less important structure is the one that uses conditional operators. In this chapter, we will explore explore all these ways except switch, which has separated chapters devoted to it later in which a c program can react to changing circumstances so friends now switch chapter i will not discuss i will discuss this later so now i want to discuss if else statement so at first we should read the questions carefully in a company an employee to pay it is paid under as under as under if if the basic salary is less than rupees 1500 then hra 10% of basic salary and da is 90% of basic salary if his salary is either equal must remember friends in here it is this portion less than this is my conditions this is my if you we, we use if basic salary means bs is less than 1500 we apply in here and if his salary is either equal to or above 1500 this is my this condition is else then each ra is equal to 500 da is equal to 98 percent of basic salary if the employee's salary is input through the keyboard write a program to find his gross salary okay i write a program so friends i hope it is clear that the conditions decisions decisions is bs when bs less than 1500 then we get da 90 percent and hra 10 percent okay let's discuss the programming calculation of gross salary include stdo.h hash include stdo.h main main functions and we use float because all are real number not integer so bs gs da hra this is my four variable one two three four all are float 
print f enter basic salary scan f percentile f addressing bs we address bs because we input bs value okay if bs is less than 15 1500 if then hra is equal to bs 10 100 percent 100% BDA, BS 100% and else HRA 500, DA, BS 98 by 100. So this is my, this is my total condition and GS is equal to BS plus HRA plus DA. So print F gross salary is equal to percentile A, F, GS. So friends, it is very simple because when we, we see the output compiled, compilations, output, For printf, it is print enter basic salary. Okay, very good. Now we enter, suppose the salary is 1400. So, next print is printf gross salary. So, it is they directly show gross salary and calculated really not not show, showing your calculation so 1400 i am just showing the calculation because i want to see show this calculation this is the 1400 into 10 100 so it is 140 plus 90 so it is 1260 okay 140 into 9 so so 146 126 okay so 1400 into 10 by 100 means into 1 by 10 so 10 10 cut so it is 140 okay and 140 uh, and 140 and 90 means 9 9 by 10 so so okay so we get this is the value so whatever i get i get get 140 and 0 plus 4 0 plus 6, 6 plus 4, how much? 6 plus 4 is equal to, okay, 1400 it is also. So, this is my answer. So, I get 2800. So, that, that will show in the output, okay? This is the if conditions. If the salary is, is more than 1500, so 1400, so what they, they will show? They will show suppose 1500 i showing i am showing then then this is the, the you, you will see that then this 500 will add and 98 percent this else conditions will hold okay so you can understand this total factor now now friends i want to say that a group of statements after the if up to not including the else is called if block. Similarly, the statement after the else from else block. Notice that the else is written exactly below the if. The statement in the in the block and those in the else block have been in, in, indented to the right. This formatting convention is followed throughout the book to enable you to understand the working program better okay i will show it, it in my next video now i just try to show flow chart by flow chart you can understand first is start okay we start next input what is my input input is bs B is this is my input okay 
no problem this is my bs next next is if condition if b is greater than 1500 0, 0. okay this is my flow chart this is the this is the flow chart if, if b is less than 1500 0, 0. okay so there is two possibility if it is yes okay it is yes less than then we get b s h r a equal to b s into 10 by 100 and two condition follow and d a d a equals to b is basic salary into 90 by 100 okay sorry so this way now it is going under the decisions and if it is no no it can possibility no so h r a equals to 500 and d a is equal to b s into 98 by 100 so this is my total value and it is going to the decisions table and we use the formula that g is gross salary equals to b s plus h r a plus d a and print print f because the last word is print f okay last is print f so we we print this table last is print last is print gs and stop we stop the program thanks for watching i hope i can clear this total concept please review this total total my total work you will review then you can understand how i work this total work is check this way start this much flow chart okay i solve it because this much this is if and else statement so thanks for watching